This guy is a pathological, uh, psycho uh, killer. Does it seem to you as if uh, you're pretty much on the verge of finding this man? Well, I wouldn't want to say that. And to be able to reach out and pluck this guy out of the air isn't done. In August of 1969, the Zodiac Killer sent his first ever cipher, known as the 408. It was solved shortly after by Donald and Betty Harden and verified by the FBI. They missed an important detail, though. The key. In this video, I'm going to show you the key, which is also the key to the Zodiac Killer's identity. After I solved the 340 cipher, I got curious about the 408 and I wanted to see if they missed anything since I knew then how he was coding in layers. The word key stood out prominently to me, especially when it was next to the word by, which is how I solved the 340 cipher. In the 408 cipher, the word key is hidden several times. When I looked at the deciphered message by the Hardens, I noticed the open triangle was always substituted for the letter I, except on this line where they changed it only once to a W. It made me curious as to why when at that point I knew the Zodiac Killer's identity from solving his other ciphers. If they left it as it was throughout the rest of the letter, it would have decoded to IDXA, which is the Zodiac Killer's initials. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow down. It should have been S-L-O-I-D for down. It's interesting the last line of that cipher was never solved. He hid the word key twice next to the open triangle. He also hid it in the corner up here, but it's not around an open triangle. However, in this area, he was still providing the open triangle as the key. He wrote key in the word by, diagonally, B-Y, which leads right to the Q, and the Q stem is pointing downward to the left. Near the last line of the 408 that was never deciphered, there's a Q, and it also points down towards the left at the open triangle. On this line, this specific triangle is the key. It was the first one that clued me in that something was up, considering it should have translated to S-L-O-I, but they changed it to W, but it did say I-D. So I took that triangle, and I decided to pair it up with the 340 that he sent later, since I knew that that was the major key for all of his ciphers. Whenever I lined the open triangle on top of the triangle at the bottom near his name in the 340, you'll see here his tagline, Rush 2. And down here, you'll see the letters ED, Rush 2, Editor. In the zodiac symbol, you'll see his name that is on the last cipher that was never, or the last line that was never deciphered, X, E, and whenever you flip it upside down, it does spell Zen. You'll also see here his first and last initials that are forward and backwards now, the X, A, along with his middle initial, which is L. This is by the key and the zodiac killer symbol. I also noticed the word box was very evident, and it was in fact now above two boxes, or pair of dice, as I pointed out in my Z32 solve. Before the word box, it shows FZ, and I realized he was pointing out to go to FZ box. The word go in the 340 cipher says FZ when it is coupled accurately. Go to FZ box. It also has a line pointing up to the backwards F, and the letter E is right on top of the Morse code symbol for the letter E. I then started looking for the boxes he said to go to that were F and Z. On this line, I discovered the F box, and a few lines up, I discovered the Z box. I knew then that I needed to take the pair of boxes, or pair of dice, and couple them in their correct place. I started with the F box and slid it into place. You can see the squares are the same size. Now it wasn't just showing his initials, but yet his first name again, X E N. If that isn't enough proof, he also says me, X E N in the upper left. And 
And down on the bottom line, that was never deciphered, you will see his name again, X, E, N, forward and backward. I went to the Z box and can see he was showing his name again, me, Zen. To the right, you'll notice the FK. He stated in a later letter, FK, I'm crack proof. And here beside the FK is the open triangle. Let's go back to where he hid Rush 2. I noticed it had the solid circle beside 2. Above it on the 340 was a solid circle. I followed the same steps and coupled the circles. I saw it said, not it, even though in the upper left it reads ID Zen. Since he said not it, I looked further up the 340 code and I saw another circle. Imagine my surprise when I saw finally there was a scratched out K with a backwards one above it. He shows us clearly in his words that it was a fuck up. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. There's still more I want to show you. Thanks for watching.